All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a server and client package in Python. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics, controls, machine learning, and computer vision. So subscribe to learn more. Check out my playlist on computer vision using AI, OpenCV in Python, ROS2, Git, Python, C++, SolidWorks, mechanical design, and here's my GitHub that follows along with it. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and go to our source folder, so cd source, and then we're gonna run the uh, package creates command, ROS2 package create, build type amend Python, and then the name of our package, which is the pi SRV CLI. And we're gonna also include the dependencies, the RCLPy and the example interfaces. So we're gonna, after we run that, we're gonna see our uh, folder is created and it comes with these files by default when you make the package. And we're gonna take a look at the source files that we will be adding into this folder. So let's first look at our service uh, file here. So here in our service file, we do these imports. And then here we have our minimal service class that we're inheriting from the node class. So here we're gonna create um, instantiate it with the name of our service, minimal service. We're gonna create a service by passing in the add to ints function or yeah, the add to ints here that you can see and then the name and we're gonna have a callback. So in this callback, the, the sum is gonna be the sum of the two requests, which we call A and B. And then we're gonna have an incoming request that spits it out as you can see here, okay? So inside our main function, we have a init and we're gonna create an instance of our minimal service class and then spin to run it and then shut down when it's done. Now here in our client is gonna be similar. So inside our client function, again, we do our imports and then here we have a class called minimal client async. So here we are gonna have our constructor with the name, we're gonna instantiate it using the name of our, um, it's gonna be called minimal client async. And then when we create the client, we're gonna store it to cli, CLI. And then while everything is good, if, if it's not, it's gonna output some error. And then we're gonna add to install request, pass it into the request. So now that we have the request, we could get the extract the request else, the A and B values. And then here we're gonna have the sum future is gonna call async, pass in the future here, and then it's gonna help us send the request. In our main function here, where the magic happens, here you have the init. We're gonna create our minimal client async. And then here we're gonna send the response, which is gonna be the values that the user is passing in. And then finally, we're gonna have a response.sum, which will get the sum of the two values based on the inputs. And then when you're done, it's gonna destroy the node and then shut down. Okay, so that's the general structure. So if we go back here, um, let's go ahead and first move the two files that we have uh, reviewed into our source uh, folder here. So we are gonna move that in, that way when we build it, it can find it. The package.xml file we don't need to update because our dependencies was included during the package making process. The next step is to update our setup.py file. So if we take a look at our setup.py file, the main things that we have added are these two lines here that will tie our service and client uh, files that we created into our whole package. Okay, so after we do that, uh, let's go ahead and move that setup.py file. So uh, we're gonna copy that setup.py file. I'm just gonna copy the contents and then we're gonna view this setup.py file here and then replace it with that content. So now we're good to go. And then finally, we could do this optional step to check for dependencies. Um, but for on my side, it's already good. I'm gonna call and build from the workspace. So I'm gonna go back one folder and then run call and build. So this will build my package. So after we're done building a package, we're gonna run, we're gonna source it and then run the service. Um, and then you're gonna see it's gonna be ready to do something. And then in the other terminal, what we want is to have, uh, we're gonna run the, 
client here. So I just need to update. This should be service and this should be client. But you're gonna go ahead and run the other one and then it's gonna have our client. And you can see that it updates with uh, three and seven. And then here in the, right here in our uh, service, this is gonna output incoming requests. And here in the client, it's gonna output 10 as a result. Okay, in my next video, I'm gonna talk about how to make a custom interface package. So go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.